All right. What we have here is our Watlow Easy Zone controller and high limit, just like you would find on our vacuum ovens, TVO1, TVO2, TVO5. The first thing you should do when you get your oven and you have it set up and ready to go is set the high limit controller. So from the factory, the high limit controller is set to the maximum temperature, which is 230 degrees C. So it's out of your way. It's not going to stop the oven at all. That's okay? pretty hot. That's very hot. Probably so, hotter than you want your parts to get. So what if I don't want the oven to get more than 150 degrees? 150 degrees C. How okay. would I change that? I'm glad you asked. What you would do on this little controller, you'd see this little green button here. This green button, you press that one time and you'll see the setting, which is 230 degrees C. You would use the down arrow And this is a really simple controller, so it doesn't have a lot of um, different parameters. It's really just got one set point. So down arrow down, up arrow up. Down, ar down arrow down, up arrow up. And if you're more clever than me, ah, look at that. You're getting so close. All right, all 150 do. degrees, reset, done. And this tells you that it's safe. This is how the display should look all of the time. Let's just say, for fun, that it's not safe, that you're experiencing an alarm condition. Your main control, this is reading from the main controller. So my main controller is seeing a temperature of about 24 degrees. And I'm gonna tell this, that if my main controller is anything over 20, it's an alarm condition. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to press my green button and I'm going to use my down arrow just so you can see what an alarm see condition an alarm looks, looks like. like. Okay. I'm going and, to go down to 20 or down an, to 10 and reset. And an alarm condition. Uh -oh. oh, okay. Uh -oh. What happens during an alarm condition? So this says fail attention. This number two lit up when that happened. And that number two is cutting off power to the heaters. Oh, that's good. So if for any reason you were supposed to set your controller at 115 and you set it at 150 or something like that, you made a mistake, if this is set properly, it's going to stop the oven from heating. So you wanna set this um, not super close to your set point. For example, if your set point's at 150, don't set this for 151 because the oven will fluctuate a little bit as it stabilizes, but you wanna set this at maybe 160. Okay, okay, and so now we have this alarm condition. How do we clear it? Uh, you clear the alarm condition by pressing the recycle key and setting the alarm temperature out over the range of your oven. So if you were actually having an alarm condition, if it was really and truly um, alarming, you'd want to just turn the oven off and you'd want to address the issue. Was this, you'd want to remove your parts, protect your parts, and then you'd want to figure out what's going on. Was this improperly set or do you have a runaway controller? Do you have a bad solid state relay? Got it. Bad thermostat, what's going on? So we'd want to, we'd want to figure that out and if you call Cascade Tech, we will absolutely help you with that. Fantastic.